Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Science Snake. Today is May 4th, so may the 4th be with you all. Today we're looking at chemistry, specifically types of chemical reactions. So let's get into the video. Before we begin, let's take a look at some key terms you must know, states of matter notations. You will see the following notations in chemical reactions. The letter G stands for gas. L stands for liquid, S stands for solid, and lastly, AQ stands for aqueous, a substance that dissolves in water. There are five types of reactions you must know. The first type of reaction is called synthesis, or combination. Number two is decomposition. Number three, single replacement. Number four, double replacement. And lastly, number five, combustion. We are going to look at each individual reaction and then complete three examples in how to identify types of reactions. The first type of reaction is called synthesis. Synthesis has the following format. A plus X gives you AX. Two or more substances combine to form a new compound. Think of synthesis as the opposite of decomposition. Products can be covalent or ionic compounds. For example, a metal and nonmetal combine to form ionic compounds, whereas two nonmetals combine to form covalent compounds. Take a look at the image. You have one individual plus another individual combining, giving you a couple. You can use the variables A plus B combining, giving you the new compound AB. Number two, decomposition. Decomposition has the following format. AX breaks down into A plus X. It's a compound that undergoes a reaction that produces two or more simpler substances. Think of decomposition as the opposite of synthesis. Covalent and ionic compounds can undergo decomposition. Ionic compounds break down into individual ions of metal and nonmetal, whereas covalent compounds break down into individual nonmetals. Here's a picture of decomposition. Think of decomposition as a breakup. You start with a couple, then the couple goes through a breakup creating two separate individuals that are no longer together. In variable form, you can see decomposition as AB breaking down into A plus B. Number three, single replacement. A plus BX gives you AX plus B, where the cation is replaced. You can also get Y plus BX gives you BY plus X, where the anion is replaced. An element or ion moves out of one compound and is replaced by another. Usually, an ionic compound and ions are involved. Replacement of one ion or element must be with the same kind. For example, metals by another metal, halogens by more active halogens. Here you have single replacement. Let's say you have a couple dancing and one individual waiting to switch partners. Then they get their turn and dance with the new partner. In variable form, you can see it as AB plus C gives you AC plus B. Number four, double replacement. Double replacement has the following format. AX plus BY gives you AY plus BX. In a double replacement reaction, the cations and anions from two compounds switch partners. The ions of two compounds exchange places in an aqueous solution to form two new compounds. The cations or anions in ionic compounds change places. Cations are replaced by cations or anions are replaced by anions. This picture represents double replacement. We have two couples dancing, followed by two couples dancing that then switch partners. In variable form, you can see it as AB plus CD gives you AC plus BD. Number five, combustion. Combustion has the following format. CXHY plus O2 gives you carbon dioxide plus water. 
a hydrocarbon known as CXHY combines with oxygen, O2, releasing a large amount of energy in the form of light and heat to form carbon dioxide and water. The balanced combustion reaction is C3H8 plus 5O2 gives you 3 carbon dioxide plus 4 water. If you remember at the beginning of this video, we mentioned the states of matter notation. So if you noticed in the balanced combustion reaction, you have the letter G, which stands for gas. This picture represents combustion. We have CXHY plus O2 gives you carbon dioxide and water. Now that we're done with the mini lecture, let's go ahead and do problem number one, identifying chemical reactions. We have the following equation. Na3PO4 plus 3KOH gives you 3NaOH plus K3PO4. There are two steps to solving these problems. Step number one is you're going to label all elements. We are going to label elements going from left to right. A is sodium, B is phosphate, C is potassium, and D is the hydroxyl group. On the right-hand side, we're going to transfer the variables. For example, we labeled sodium A, hydroxyl group D, potassium C, and phosphate B. If you notice, we not only labeled elements, but we also labeled compounds. When you have compounds in your equation, you will label those with a single variable, like phosphate, PO4, which I labeled as B. Now that everything's labeled, we can go to step two, match the formula. We learned that there are five types of reactions. I'm going to go ahead and write each one down. Number one is synthesis, A plus B gives you AB, followed by decomposition, AB gives you A plus B. Single replacement, which is AB plus C gives you AC plus B, followed by double replacement, AB plus CD gives you AC plus BD. And lastly, combustion, CXHY plus O2 gives you carbon dioxide and water. You may end up with variables that aren't in the exact same order, but you should be able to match which type of reaction looks like the problem you're solving for. So pause and take a look at our problem. We have AB plus CD gives you AD plus CB. We have anions and cations that switched partners. Hmm, which type of reaction is this? Our answer is double replacement. So now it's your turn. Go ahead and pause this video and solve for number two. Don't forget to label elements and or compounds and match the formula. You're back. The answer is combustion. <laughs> Problem number three. We have the following. PB plus FeSO4 gives you PbSO4 plus Fe. Step one is to label all the elements going from left to right. So we're going to label lead as A, iron as B, the compound sulfate as C. We're going to go on to the right side and transfer the variables. So we're going to label lead as A, sulfate as C, and iron as B. At this point, if you're wondering where the charges are in order to determine whether it's in cation or anion, you can check the periodic table. So now you're also thinking, hmm, I already forgot what's the next step. The next step is to match the formula. I'm going to list the five types of reactions again. Number one is synthesis, two is decomposition, three is single replacement, four is double replacement, and five is combustion. Pause and take a look at what we have. We have A plus BC gives you AC plus B. It looks like we have one element that moved out of a compound and is replaced by another. Do you remember what that's called? The answer is single replacement. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.